Oh, the relics I have found today have been spectacular. Oh yes, I've got one that's really old, could be thousands of years old. I've got another coin that's like 1700s and in mint condition. And, and other bits and pieces that are just like, oh. I tell you what, the grass is always greener on the other side of the hedge. I started off in this field and I was fine. Is that a duck? Might be a duck. And I was finding nothing but cack. Oh, for about an hour I was in this field and then I went into the next field and within a few yards, beep, 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 there were signals all over the place. Oh, the grass is always greener on the other side of the hedge. It really is. <laughs> right, what have I got here? I got Brake Spear. Brake Spear beer. Oxford Gold, 4.6, so a bit of strength. So yeah, uh, right, what should we talk about today? Um, well, ah, licenses. Right, so I was thinking, if we can have a license to go metal detect and say, say it happened, um, I would like to have a bit more transparency with, uh, with the British Museum. Because one of the things that they do, right, what they can do is, if you found a really important object, they can seize the object off of you and they give you what's called a reward which is not really a valuation it's just a reward and because it's a fraction of the value of the object I reckon that some point in the future if they sold because they do sell objects they, they, they have this thing called a disposal policy so if they sold your object you would get back uh, say 50% of the value when they sell it so and that means if a, a better object than the one that they have collecting dust in a drawer somewhere in the depths of the museum uh, is a better coin say it comes in to the one that's in the drawer what they do is they have this thing called a disposal policy and they put it they basically they bring in some auctioneers the auctioneer goes oh yeah that's worth an absolute fortune and they slap it on auction and they go for the highest price possible and yet previously your reward was a quarter of the original price so yeah if they're going to be have licenses i reckon they should have some sort of a way of giving you back the the value of the object and they they keep a little bit for their own sort of uh, keeping the museum going yeah because you know because i know people that have been offered like fractions of what the values of things are worth fractions of the value and they say oh it's not really true that it's not that value which is which is a bit of a con really because they've got these things called valuation committees that the museum runs the museum it's not an independent valuation committee or they like to say it is yeah <laughs> and they value the coins uh, you know, it should be a, a truly independent, nothing to do with the museum. But they like to say it is independent. Well, you know, I can hear, there must be a pond near here. I can hear ducks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I reckon if there's a license, then we should have um, a bit more transparency with, uh, oh, where's my oh, uh, opener gone? A bit more transparency with uh, the sale of objects via their disposal policies. Now you look it up. Disposal policy. Right, hopefully this won't explode like it, the one did yesterday. Ah, that's a bit bad. Mm, smells quite nice. Oh, yeah. Nice beer at the end of the day. Nothing like it. Yeah, but I pre would prefer to go in a pub but they're all shut for some reason. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at the colour. Doesn't that look delish? <laughs> oh, another thing I've done is I've set up uh, an independent anonymous poll, right? Anonymous? Anonymous. That's probably not the right word. Anom yeah, something like anonymous. <laughs> I haven't even touched it yet. Anom anom can't say the can't say the word. 
a, a non unus I, 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 no, it's not working. Uh, you set up an, an anonymous independent poll as asking whether or not you've been metal detecting during the lockdown, right? Uh, the uh, restrictions, say. And it's independent and it's anonymous. <laughs> it's an anonymous poll. I'll put a link in the description. Anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, mm. oh, yeah, yeah, slightly citrusy, Goldings, Fuggles and Syrian Hops, mm. oh yeah, it's, it's got a nice bitter taste to it as well, it's got a nice bitter flavour, mm. yeah, very nice, Breakspear, double dropping beer, Double dropping beer since 1779. I got a coin in my pocket that's uh, uh, 1779. <laughs> is it 1779? Yeah, I think it is actually. That's a bit of a coincidence. Yeah. 1779. Was it 97? It might be 97. <laughs> you can see a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, it's 97, not 70, 79, 97. Got it, got it the other way around. Anyway, so yeah, there's an independent poll, so it, it's uh, it's anonymous, <laughs> so it it, uh, it it doesn't identify you if you fill it in. Let's say. Mm. Basically, asking whether or not you've been metal detecting during the lockdown. Because I know lots and lots and lots and lots of people who have been, you know, then before the uh, portable antiquities scheme, people went metal detecting anyway. And it's only the portable antiquities scheme and the British Museum are, are, that are saying you're not allowed to do it anymore. Because the government have uh, delegated powers to the British Museum that allows them to then influence our hobby. You know, they didn't delegate powers to the National Council for Metal Detecting. No, they didn't do it to them. You know, if they did it to them, then maybe that would have been a bit fairer. No, this has been delegated powers to curve our hobby from the enemy. <laughs> so to speak. Enemy-ish. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to... This video has been going for oh, nine minutes. It's been going for a while and I'm going to drink this here beer and pack up because it's starting to get dark and I'm going to go home happy. But like I said, tomorrow the weather looking like it's going to be piddling down. So I can't see myself going out metal detecting, you know, because I like it to be dryish and I can feel rain in the air right now. Like, so yeah, I'm going to finish this here beer down this. I'm going to rush home put this video together upload that one this one I'm doing now and then I'll upload the main event later on where I find this epic relic woohoo cheers <laughs>